So in this problem, we're going to be finding the area of a sector, all right? And a sector is just, remember, simply just part of a, of a full circle, okay? So it says we got to focus on this, a sector of a circle whose the circle has a radius of 0.7 inches and an angle of pi radians. So the sector has that angle of pi radians, okay? So since they're giving me the angular measurement in radians, what I'm going to first do is draw my circle and then draw a set of axes inside of the circle. I'm then going to label all of my... Um, radian measures. We know zero because these are po positive values, right? Well, zero, by the way, always starts on the positive x-axis, no matter what. I don't care if it's negative pi or positive pi. Zero always starts there. But then if it's a positive angular measurement, you're going to rotate counterclockwise. And you know that then the first position here is going to be then pi over two radians, okay? The position over here is then pi radians. The position down here is then three pi over two radians, okay? so on and so forth. So now it wants to know, well, we have an angular measurement of pi radians. So what does that look like? Well, that looks like if I had to take, okay, this line or this, let's say, radius, and I rotated it around the circle, pi radians. That would have brought me all the way over to here. It literally is the same thing as saying 180 degrees, okay? Pi radians is equivalent to 180 degrees. All right, so here, my friends, is the now angle. It is pi radians. So in other words, the sector that we're talking about is going to be this shaded sector. Look at that. It's half of a circle, okay? It's a hemisphere. Huh, hemi meaning half, sphere meaning, well, if this was three-dimensional, I guess that would make sense. But you know what I'm saying, okay? All right, so <clears throat> now, how do we find this? Well, you might already be saying, oh, this is easy, Andrew. I know the area of a full circle, right? That's just simply pi r squared. And if I know that would find me the area of the full thing, then I would just divide it by two to find half. And I'd say, great job, that's exactly perfect, right? So the other way to do it is to use this formula, okay? The area of a sector is going to be equal to pi r squared, which is the area of the full circle, but multiplied now by the measured or given angle, all then divided by, since they're giving us radians, 2 pi. All right, if they gave you degrees, this would have just been 360. But now all we literally have to do is just plug in the values, right? So it's pi r squared. Did they tell us the radius? Oh, goodness, by gosh, by golly, they did, right? 0.7 inches, so what that means is that half or the distance from the center to one of the sides was going to be 0 0.7 inches. So you literally just plug that in. 0 0.7, okay, 0 0.7 inches. Square it. Multiply it then by the measured angle. What was the measured angle? Well, pi. Okay, then divide that by 2 pi. Now take a look at what happens. What happens to the pi's? They go bye-bye, right? So in other words, this is basically the area of the sector here is equal to pi 0 0.7, I'm going to leave out the units right now, squared, times then 1 half. And wait a minute, isn't that the same thing as saying just divide this thing by 2? And isn't that the same thing that we were saying over here? That's the point, all right? So now, since they're giving us a decimal, I'm just going to carry, I'm not going to get an exact value. Although I can, I can convert this into 7 over 10, square that, eh. I'm just going to plug it into the calculator this time, okay? So take pi, 3.14, multiply it by 0.7 squared, and then divide that now by 2. So this works out to be about 0 0.77 or so, okay? Um, and that's in terms of then inches squared. <clears throat> so that would be the area of that shaded sector. That's it, right? Not bad. Guys, thanks for tuning in. I really do hope it helps. All right, if it did, hit the like and subscribe button. We really appreciate it. We've got thousands of solved solutions out there for you. So take a look at any of the OpenStax textbooks. That's the ones we go through. Even if you're not using them, it doesn't matter. Go to the website, download them. They're totally free. And I guarantee you'll find a similar, if not identical, problem in there. And then you can find our video that solves that. And you'll have basically your exact question answered. We'll see you soon.